speaking uh, viewers. My first question is about uh, uh, the ongoing uh, war against terror, uh, war uh, on terrorism. You shall agree, Mr. Halbrook, that uh, terrorism has now uh, become a universal phenomenon. It is not confined uh, to Pakistan, uh, Afghanistan only. We all know that uh, the curse can be only eliminated if all the nations uh, of the world get together and unite against this meanness. If that he so, why you call this war of Pakistan? By saying so, don't you think that making only Pakistan, Pakistan responsible for defeating this meanness? Whereas it is a collective responsibility of entire uh, international community to cooperate and fight this war. I agree with you completely. You've, you've stated it very well. Uh, we have to, there are terrorists in the world who are trying to destroy Pakistan. They're trying to destroy Afghanistan. They're trying to destroy the United States. Mm -hmm. They launched the attack in Mumbai mm -hmm. in a desperate attempt to create a war between India and Pakistan, which they failed in. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I agree with you completely. So what steps should be, what measures should be uh, adopted uh, to fight this war and while only uh, responsible in Pakistan? Well, I'm not sure I understand your point uh, with all due respect because the, uh, no one's ever said this is a war only in Pakistan. Uh, what I have said repeatedly mm -hmm. is that it's a war in both Afghanistan and Pakistan and, and that the critical spot is the border mm -hmm. because the Taliban and Al-Qaeda exploit the border to move back and forth and because Afghanistan and Pakistan don't always cooperate they have an advantage in this area but I think that if Afghanistan and Pakistan cooperate more we will have much more success but I know it's difficult I understand the history of Afghanistan and Pakistan has been difficult since independence for Pakistan mm -hmm. and uh, we have to overcome that legacy of distrust but it has to be done for the mutual benefit of both Afghanistan and Pakistan, mm -hmm. and for that matter, for the whole world. That is why the United States, under President Obama, has made, has made this trust. But it has to be done for the mutual benefit of both Afghanistan and Pakistan, mm -hmm. and for that matter, for the whole world. That is why the United States, under President Obama, has made, has made such an effort to encourage Afghanistan and Pakistan to work together. Okay. My second question is about the term Talibanization. Uh, right from the start, the world has been calling these uh, terrorists and extremists as Taliban. Where is the terminology should be, uh, uh, should be dropped with a Soviet downfall? These people are militants who thrive by implicating terror on innocent people and using religion as a vehicle to perpetuate their selfish notions. Calling them Taliban is to make them heroes. What do you want to call them? Terrorists. Fine, let's call them terrorists then. I agree with you again. You are angry with me. That, uh, I agree with you. Okay. Call them terrorists. Because in our society, in our tradition, uh, uh -huh. Molvi are, uh, we are calling the Molvi it is a very honorable that we are making heroes because well, they are not I don't, mm. uh, It doesn't matter to me what you call them. We all know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Let's not have a lengthy discussion mm -hmm. over what we call them. Mm -hmm. Let's just band together to show the world that these people, these terrorists, as you correctly call them, who pretend to be messengers mm -hmm. of God, of the prophet are not that the true way for Islam and for other people is not to follow this kind of terrorists. Okay. I don't think we should call it a jihad either. For yeah, that jihad matter. either. Yes. I don't. I know. I don't call it a jihad because jihad has a long and and storied uh, uh, reputation in the. Islamic world, but and uh, and and to give call them jihad is to give them uh, a glorification they don't deserve. Mm -hmm. But all the time uh, we have seen in media and uh, particularly in U.S. administration, they are calling the Taliban rather than terrorists. 
Well, that's because there are terrorists everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. There are terrorists in, the, in Ireland, and there are terrorists in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so the people began to call them Taliban mm -hmm. because it was a word everybody could identify specifically with Afghanistan. Okay. But of course, I agree completely with you. <laughs>